Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems and today we're checking out a system from the user Josie in Discord so massive thank you to them for sending their system but without further ado let's get into this. So their system is called David's system known as the family tree. Now this this seems intriguing already if they've done a whole family tree of their f in, a, in a solar system format that should be quite interesting, so let's go ahead and see. It should be a yeah, workshop. Where am I going? Right, so workshop, subscribed. And uh, where are we? There it is. David's system known as a family tree. Okay, so let's see what they have uh, got in store for us here. Right. Oh, it's loading. It's taking time. That usually means it's big. Whoa. Oh. Right. Ho, <laughs> ho, even my PC's having a bit of a time uh, moving around here. Okay, so what have we got then? Okay, so. Hello, this is the Davy system, but it is also dubbed as the family tree due to how large the system is. Let's view the stars, planets, moons, dwarfies, and comets. Hello. Okay, so David. The sole star that holds everything together. This is also the reason why it's called Godfather David, the centre of the system. So star, as you can expect. Largest mass in here. It's one mass of sun. Okay, but three in the radius. So next up we got this is a Dinal here. First of the planets. Let's turn off the zones. I'm guessing there's a lot of ring particles in here. That's probably where we're having a bit of lag. All right. Um, a hot mini Neptune or orbits closest to the star. It's an orange, greenish, and contains a lot of silica inside. Very strange for a gassy planet. Okay. Next up we got uh. Let's, uh where are we? Orbits labels. Launch over here. Ooh, detailed surface. Well, hey, it is the mercury of the system with brown and green coatings. The brown is natural, while the green has a lot of chloride, epidote, and even jade rock crystal rock. Okay, nice. Next up, we've got Jaco over here. Venus-like planet with double the mass of it. It is also it also has only one known moon, Hatter, which scientists say originates all the way from uh, Carolyn. Carolyn, uh, here is Hatter. A small, colourful rock. There you go. Next up, we're moving to Yelan over here. Looking good. A red planet with a very cratered surface. It also has four moons. It is a bright yellow asteroid. Um, or the li li Lydia. So, these guys here. Very cratered, uh, bright yellow asteroid. Then we got uh, Mate, Mate, Mate W here. I'm not sure how to say that one. Um, warm and single celled life. Then we got Gabriel. With rugged surface health and a thick atmosphere. And then lastly, Heath, uh, Health, Heath, I'm not how to say that, I do apologise, but there it is. I kind of want to say the word health, but it doesn't have the L. <laughs> right, there you go. It's moving on to Aiden over here, Aiden. Nice blue here, looking good. A blue crater planet with one moon. It has a thick atmosphere, not a very dense moon. There you go. There it is. Looking good. They're moving to uh, Arrow Yun over here. I like the colour on this one. A tectonically active dwarf with a blue moon, Chryzen, who is very similar to Shivil. Looking good. Nice. Where's the moon? There it is. I like those two blue colours together, they make a nice duo. There you go, very nice. Hmm. Next up we've got Logani. A planet of intelligent life, water and land. It has five moons. Frogu is green, hence the name. Denja has red canyons. Olive has huge ridge. Minte is monochrome and Todian with a terraform life. It's used in experiment. Okay, so let's go to all of those. It says Frogu. Then we have Denja over here. 
And we have Olive over there. And we've got Minty over here. And lastly, Toy in over here. And I like the green. I like the way that looks. I have to say, I think that looks really cool. Nice. Okay, so. There's, an, there's a little probe in orbit there as well. Alright. So, that was Logani, wasn't it? Yep. So now we're heading to Carolyn over here. Ooh, lots of stuff around this one. Pink atmosphere with red clouds. It has many moons, but we'll only go over the major ones. So we have dire gas here. Smallest spherical moon, smaller than Mimus. We've got this one here, Shyville. Cobalt blue for white atmosphere. I like it. Uh, Medigo over there. Quite nice uh, colours on there. Uh, Valentina. Which is here. Small gas moon of CO2 centre. And then Melania. Which is the last moon over here. A lot of rift valleys to explore. Interesting texture on that one. I'm guessing that's a Sedna texture? Sedna or Ceres? Yeah, Sedna. Nice. Get some interesting combos using those. Alright, very nice. Next up we got... Uh, so we don't care, Lynn. Core? Is that around this one? Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, there it is. A large moon which has its own system. Oh, okay. There's the rings. It's massive pink gas moon with a Saturn-like ring system. It has two moons, Jared, which is like Enceladus, and Ellie, a moon with red life. So there's the Enceladus. It's also a probe. And then there is Ellie over here. Very nice. Looking good. Next up we've got Centaur Krabby. A centaur of lots of ridges and rifts would be fun to walk on. There it is. Very nice. So now we're heading to Haley. There it is. Ice ball for green atmosphere. It contains methane lakes across its surface. It's unknown why it has no moons. Okie dokie. Got Sahi over here. A very large green planet. It's also the largest planet in the system. Its rings are massive. It has many, many moons. Oh, you can see them all. Okay, you can see the description of the moons is pretty big. So we've got Fari here, ohm set of its rings. So rings around a moon with rings. So there it is. Then we've got Anna over here. White and purple. We've got, uh, is it Cassila? It's a radioactive atmosphere. Then we got Loria. Yeah, so going back to the actual name of this system, the family tree. I wonder if the creator of the system has actually used names they know. I'm keen, to, I'm keen to know the backstory there. Let me know. I've, I've, I won't be keen because if it actually is, that's actually pretty. That's actually a really cool idea. I have to say, making like a solar system, of your own family's names, I mean, it would be quite cool actually. <laughs> so. Yeah, I like it. I like the idea. And if it is actually that, then that is pretty awesome. Um, half ice for Cap So effectively, like we're shouting out every person in the family's name, effectively, if the, if they are actually the names. Uh, next, we've got Allo Dub. <laughs> Said to be the smoothest moon. But yeah, some of these names don't seem like names of people, though. That's the only thing. Um, Vertboo. If they are, they're names I've never heard of. So, <laughs> or I'm just uneducated. <laughs> but yeah, red and cratered. This one. Retrograde orbit. So that's Vertboo. Next up we got Vidison. It's home submoon Ratquet over here. There you go. Slowly moving rest due to the Lou the Rouge limit. We got a Bella. Very dark atmosphere with dark clouds. There it is, and then we got Abarab over here. Ton of green atches. There you go. So next up we got uh, where are we? Etanos. There 
it is. A dull grey planet who has a massive dark centre. It also has a purple moon, Chi. Which is here. Lovely. Then we got U's. Which is the pink one. A bright pink planet who doesn't have a lot of features, but it does spin very quickly. Its moon, Vincent, has a weird blotch of frozen nitrogen. There it is. Looking good. Uh, 15, we've got Olivero. It's like the Pluto of the system. It has three small, not very dense inner moons. Jade, Brook, and Lucky have various colours. It's Binary Park near Mer Marilyn. has a purple light colour. It keeps the inner moons from leaving. They're trapped until the end of time. The system also has a one to one resonance with U's. Okay. There's all the little moons. There they are there. Nice. Looking good. Hmm. So this one is Hughes over here. So we already checked that one out. Next up into Mia over here. The furthest rocky from the system is a whitish pink with a two tone ring system. There you go. Let's see the multiple colours in there. Looking good. Then we've got Hudstone. Which is, where are we? Where is it? There it is. Looking good. A geologically active dwarf with many surface features. It has one moon, Avery. It's smooth on one side, heavily crazy on the other. So there it is. So as you see, is that actually the case? Let's have a look. Smooth on one side. Oh yeah, see there's the craters and then this side is more smooth. Yeah, okay. I'll give you that. Nice. Next up, we've got Neraj over here. Where is it? Neraj. Where is it? So, N-E-R. Am I missing the plot? Ah, it's the orange one. Okay, lovely. There it is. A binary dwarf with a lot of ridges and cliffs everywhere. The binary it shares is a Hadu, named the Oreo moon because of its black and white colours. There it is. Very nice. Next up we've got Nada. A barren, lonely, pink ice ball which orbits retrograde is likely a captured object. There it is. Very nice. Next up we've got AX. Like Nada, it's an ice ball except all of its surface is ice. It also orbits retrograde like an iris like orbit. There it is. Pretty, pretty dark over here now. Not much light over here. Then we've got Rain. This one here, its surface has two moods. It's either smooth or rugged. Would recommend using flashlight mode for the difference. Yeah, so we're getting pretty far out now, so we will do that. The studio, there we go. Looking good. And they both are there. Looking good. So, Madalore there is bigger. It's also extremely creative of a large rift infestation at the center of its thing. Okay. Binary orbit. There's the ridge. Big ridge. There you go. Next up, we've got Willa. Or Willia. Can I select that? Oi. Game. Oi, I, I single clicked. Only double click normally does that. I single clicked. It's cheating. Alright. There you go. So, Willa. Possibly one of the most absurd dwarf. Its surface is almost fully covered in solid nitrogen, something no other object has. Additionally, its singular ring is oxygen flavoured, which is a very strange phenomenon which isn't possible on almost every other object. The ring is very dim, but it is there. Look carefully. Extremely hard to spot. I did just see it though. There it is. You can see it probably best there. You can see the very faint ring. Okay. Next up, we got. Uh, there's a lot of stuff, isn't there? Uh, Nichelis, which is this one. A yellow-greenish planet with scattered surface levels. It has two minor moons, Sherrick and Han. Also yellow and green. Its binary park, Naomi, has a lot of scratch markings and huge mountains as well. Oh, yes. 
there's a moons. Very nice. Next up, we've got Sasha, the planet X of the system. Over here. It has three no moons. So what JPEX is testing, landing site for many pioneer and space administrations. Currently, there's a probe orbit in it right now, possibly user testing. Uh, we've got Edula here. Red and white, not very special, but scientists watch the tidal updates as it is the most massive moon. Um, and then we have Astatine over here. The final moon, it has been bombarded with countless radioactive warfare, which can explain dark smudges and glow material you can see on thousand kilometers away. There you can see the glow and city lights on it. Okay, nice. Next up, comets. So there's four comets. So we've got Comet Julie. 76 kilometer wide comet, one of the most famous. If you were standing on the surface, uh, you can see it with its features in normal vision. Although the second one, although not as bright, it remains impactful and shares a very unstable orbit with Carolyn. It can orbit very, from few orbits to hundreds of orbits. Then you've got the third one, Otimus. The most dim out of them all with a small tail. It can fly by Logie and Carolyn, giving them a stunning night show for many days, making it extremely bright at certain times. And lastly, the Slungus one, an absolutely massive comet with a huge bulge at uh, Pegri. It can create some of the best nights and months, even visible in the day. It also has the largest orbit out of them all. Okay. Then we have other stars. We've got Olivant, Olivant over here. Dwarf star of four planets. So we've got uh, Natalie, a small Venus like with a purple surface. Its, its mass is even smaller than Mercury, but contains an atmosphere that's very powerful. Its mass is even smaller than Mercury, but contains an atmosphere that's very powerful. Yep. Uh, Samiana here, a super Earth with little over double the mass. It's completely oceanic, but can support complex underwater life. Then we have Malcol here. An ice giant with one known moon. That's the picture in the thumbnail, that one was. There's a moon there. This thing is a gorgeous extent to its possible first point. It does not have much features other than it being colourful. You can see the fin line when looking at the rings. Oh yes, there it is. Nice. Nextly, we got a Gurgas here. An ice giant with a heavy ring system. Oh yes, there you go. Looks like Saturn's rings, but extends further out. Also has one known moon, a middle. Again, not many features, but you can easily see the glory of the rings. Yeah, that's what we like. I think these are the guys in the thumbnail. Yeah, that's it. Lovely. And lastly, we have Aunt Mira and Sabrina, which is these guys. Aha. And there they are. A binary between White Dwarf Mirror and Red Dwarf Sabrina. Due to tidal effects from David, Sabrina loses 0.1 of its mass uh, per year due to tidal forces from Mirror. There you go. Looking good. If this is it in my system. I hope you enjoyed it and I had fun making this system. Thank you and enjoy life. You too. You too. <laughs> so there is your lineup. So quite a big old system, wasn't it? A lot of uh, lot of names to remember. Can you name the whole all the family? Because that's, uh, that's quite the big family. <laughs> oh, yes. So, there you go. Lots of different colours in this one. I did like that cobalt blue one, though. I do like that colour scheme. But there we go. So, there is everyone in tandem there. Looking good. So, again, a massive thank you to the creator of this system, Josie, for sending this in. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Let us know what you think down below in the comments as well, everybody. And, yeah, that will send done. Make sure to subscribe as well. Help us on a journey to 50,000 subscribers. And also leave a like. Let's see if we can go for 100 likes on today's video as well, guys. It really helps the channel out as well. Absolutely brilliant stuff. And, yeah, that will send done. Make sure you guys all stay safe. Have a great day out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.